at uh, two grads. So you you find me in a, in a glider cockpit today, and uh, we just published in uh, scientific reports a paper about uh, a brain signal which is not so often investigated. We it's the per perturbation evoked potential, and it occurs when uh, the a person uh, is uh, pushed out of balance. And for example, in, during glider flying, uh, you are not always in, uh, in quiet air, especially when the terminals are. And then we have uh, either lifts from the right wing or the left wing, and we get out of balance. Glider pilots use this feeling to turn into to surgery up in terminals to gain height and attitude. Uh, here in the lab, uh, we study these perturbation potentials uh, to, to gain some insights about how they develop, but also whether we can detect them for a brain computer interface solution. So, here in this paper, we describe um, how we, our, our experiment where we uh, let the people move in the glider a bit left and right and sometimes we had a big perturbation to left or to right and uh, what uh, we found out is that we can decode the direction of the perturbation even the angle of the perturbation um, and um, uh, this is what we show in that paper and uh, we hope we can use this in the future to to, to use this kind of signal uh, in passive PCI uh, solutions and environments um, where uh, the people lose this balance and a machinery where they are in use, or whether this is a, an autonomous vehicle, for example, uh, or somewhere in a rehabilitation setting, um, the persons can receive some information back from the machinery or the environment that they they are not getting or falling out of balance because the environment knows already by the analysis of uh, the brain signals of the, the user of the system. So that's described in the paper. So I'm um, happy for your comments below. Um, see you next time.